thank you for the impressive introduction. Professor Smasus, ladies, gentlemen, and my most honorable guests. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. The part of that. Once upon a time, there was a guy whose name was Tulu. <laughs> this guy was a potter. He used to live in a village near the river Chena, which is in Punjab. This pottery was very famous. People from all around the region just came just to buy his pottery. The best thing about his pottery was the painting on his pottery was very good. It was mesmerizing. The hand of painting that she used to do on the pots. Ladies and gentlemen, Tuluk and his wife has the best day of their life when they have a daughter. The daughter was the most prettiest, the most lovely, the most beautiful girl in all of the region. The others in the village agreed to, so they named her Sony. Sony is a word, is a word which is derived from Punjabi, which means beautiful. As age passed and days passed, Sony started getting more and more beautiful with age. Tindu has taught her daughter the art of painting. With age passed, with time passed, Sony started getting older and his dad, his father Tindu, start getting bigger. His eyes start, his eyesight start getting worse. So, Sony was the only one who was painting the parts. He had his own style of painting the parts. It was very different from his father. Once, on a very fine day, a very healthy, a very wealthy and a very young man from the village of Bukhara, which is in Uzbekistan, came to visit this region. He was a traveler. His name was Isid Bey. When he got to know about this famous pottery of Tulu, he decided to visit the place. When he was checking the pieces of the pot, that he wanted to buy, he saw Sony in full concentration, painting all the pots. Her hair tilted all of the pots, all of the wine. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the thing was mesmerized by the beauty of Sony. He could not take his eyes off her for a second. The next moment, he just went to Tulu and said that I want the same pot, I want the same pot, and I want the same pot, I want it right now. But Tulu, he refused. He refused because he said that the, pay, the pot needs to be baked steady before it is used. Otherwise, it will fall all over and it is of no use. So, he said they promised that he will come back again tomorrow just to buy the same pot. On the next day, Isabel came and buy the same pot. The pot was not the main reason. The main reason was the beauty, the beauty of Sony, the mesmerizing beauty of Sony. He started finding different types of excuses just to visit her each and every day. He started buying more and more pots, more teachers, more clay pots, Anything used in his start by because he was very rich. His pocket was always full of gold coins. As time passes, his fellow travelers said that it's time to leave the place and go to a new region. But he refused, saying that I will stay a little bit more longer. As time passed, the money that he was having, the money, the money. It started getting very short. The money supply depended very much. So he decided to work. Tulu, the father of Sony, 
decided to hire him as a buffalo man. A buffalo man. In Punjabi, we call it Mahiwal. Mahiwal is a person who, who is a buffalo man, who hurts the buffaloes. Love, ladies and gentlemen, is an infectious disease. It's, it is a disease. When someone gets it, when someone gets affected by it, not only the person, not only the person that is affected, but all the persons around him get affected by it also. In fact, of that thing, the person, they start pretending and they start feeling the same symptoms what the sick person in love it is. Sony knew that. Mahiwal don't come to buy the course. He only come to see me and to mesmerize me and to see my gorgeous beauty. And so was the case that Sony also fell in love with the Buffalo man, the Mahiwal. Time passed, days passed. But you know, love never hides. Love never hides though the love of Mahiwal and so Sony did it. The family of Sony got to know about the love. In that community, this type of love was forbidden. It was not allowed for a girl to marry an outsider. So his father forcefully decided to marry to, to marry Sony to another father, which used to live in the neighbor house. At that time, when the very survey started, Mahiwal was very sad was very distraught. He didn't know what to do. Sony budgeted to have a place, just a village nearby. He was very distraught and he decided to take residence in a small hut, just across the river, in front of Sony's house. The place was very beautiful. It was just across the river, ladies and gentlemen. Time passed. The husband of Sony was a merchant, so he used to stay out of the country, out of the village for a very long time. Sony used to wake up in the night, sit up, and look far across the river, and he see that Mahiwal was waiting and sitting and just seeing her. On one night, she decided to visit her by using a pot, a clay, a, a clay pitcher. He used to hold it tightly and afloat across the river because Sony didn't know how to swim. They used to meet up. They used to spend the night together, the evening together, the whole day together. But rumors of their love start passing around the village. The, around the village. The people got to know about it. Once her sister-in-law, Sony's sister-in-law, decided to follow Sony. And when she saw the clay picture that she was hiding under the bushes beneath her window, that picture that she used to float across the river just to meet his lover, she decided to change it. She decided to change it with an unbaked clay picture. On the same night, on the same night, when Sony just pulled the clay picture and decided to go and meet her lover again, she went into the water. All the way to the river, she finds there is something wrong. There is something wrong with the pot. The clay of the pot started bending into the water. It melts and melts. She starts crying. She starts shouting just for, My Lord, save me! My Lord, save me! My Lord didn't see anything. He just jumped straight into the water just to save me. But the current, he could not give up the current. They both drowned. They both drowned. They left the ground. Everything was over. Legend says that their body was recovered 75 kilometers away from the place in Shadab Person. Their tomb is still there, lovers and people far from, from different areas just to visit and to enjoy the place and just to mesmerize the beauty of this of the peaceful and beautiful place.